everybody and welcome back to another video and if you're here for the very first time it's lovely to meet you and you're really welcome. I'm Jane and my husband Mike is behind the camera. We're British, early retirees, debt and mortgage free and living a thrifty, frugal and money saving life on a super tight budget here in Brittany in northwest France and every Friday we bring you something food related. It could be some meal planning, it could be some batch cooking or today I'm going to share with you what we cooked for dinner. Now you must have looked at the title and go, what on earth is toad in the hole? It's just one of those British dishes that if you mention it to a British person, they'll tell you they love it. They absolutely love it. So you take great big chunky pork sausages and you cook them in the oven and then you pour around it Yorkshire pudding, which is like a big fluffy batter mix that rises up, it's all crispy and around those sausages and then you serve it with a really gorgeous onion gravy. It's like, it's like your mum's cooked your dinner for you, it's like a hug from your family on a plate, it's just one of those things that if you've never had it you really should try it and I promise you you'll love it. Let's get cooking. I'm going to run through my ingredients for toad in the hole with onion gravy. But first of all, we need our sausages. You can use any sausages you like. I've got some huge French Toulouse sausages. These are cure pork sausages. They're absolutely lovely. Use any sausages you like. I think you could even do this with meat free sausages if you wanted to, if that's what you like. You're going to need some gluten free flour. I'm going to use corn flour, it works very well. You're going to need three eggs, some milk and a little oil and that is for the toad in the hole. For the onion gravy you're going to need two medium onions that you're going to very thinly slice. I've got two teaspoons of soft brown sugar because we aren't going to have any of the meat juices because they're going to be in the bottom of the pan. The gravy's lacking slightly, so I'm going to add in some soft brown sugar. I've got two stock pots here, which I'm going to mix up to be 500 millilitres of beef stock, which is two cups of beef stock. So if you've got beef stock that you can buy, that's great, or you've made, or any stock you've got at home that comes to two cups or 500 millilitres, that's perfect. A dash of Worcester sauce in it is absolutely lovely as well and I'm going to add that in at the end. So those are my ingredients. It's a very, very humble meal. It's been eaten by British families for hundreds of years with that crispy Yorkshire pudding with those sausages in it and the lovely gravy. I'm hungry at the thought of it. Let's get cooking. <laughs> In my pan I've got a tablespoon of olive oil and I've also added a good knob of lovely butter. I don't just cook in butter because it can tend to burn it if I'm not careful. So I've got my onions in and I'm going to keep them stirring because onions have got a sugar content and I'm, I'm, I'm able to burn anything if I don't keep it stirring so I, I'll keep that stirring. I would, thinking about that now, if I did it again, I would brown my onions a bit more before I put my brown sugar in there. And I've used soft brown sugar, but you could use any brown sugar you've got. Or if you've got no brown sugar, just use a spoonful of sugar, or maybe even a bit of honey or maple syrup. In goes my corn flour, and I'm stirring it through to make sure I don't get any lumps. And I cook it through for about 30 seconds to make sure I've cooked the flour through. Now I'm adding in my beef stock, which I've made from stock cubes or stock pots, and I keep stirring it, and I cook it through until it thickens. And once it's thickened, I'll leave it just to simmer away for about 10 minutes, and it really brings out the sweetness of the onions, and it's a lovely, glossy, thick gravy. I have my oven preheated to 200 degrees centigrade, I'll write on the screen what that is in Fahrenheit. And now my sausages are going to go in the oven for 20 minutes at least to half an hour. But I will check them after 15 minutes and turn them over 
and see how they're doing. To make my Yorkshire pudding better, I'm going to add my corn flour to the bowl. It sticks, doesn't it? All of it. I don't want to waste any of it. Make a little hole. Add in my eggs. Start to mix them a little bit. And add in my milk. And keep beating until I have no lumps. I'm going to pour that in a jug and pop it in the fridge to use when my sausages are cooked. So my sausages have sizzled away and the fat's come out of them which is perfect because that's what you want to make the crispy Yorkshire pudding and I poured my batter in and I want to get it back in the oven really quickly and once it's in the oven make sure you don't open it or, the, or it'll collapse and it'll be a flat pancake. <laughs> crispy Yorkshire pudding. It looks brown, it looks very brown doesn't it? But just to show you these are not overcooked sausages. They always go a bit crispy on the outside when you make toad in the hole. But that is a magnificent gluten-free Yorkshire pudding. And here is our toad in the hole with some steamed vegetables and our onion gravy and we are going to have our dinner. Enjoy yours, whatever you're eating tonight, won't you? Gluten free, toad in the hole with onion gravy. There it is, all plated up, crispy Yorkshire pudding with sausages, a rich onion gravy and some steamed vegetables. I'm really hungry now and I get to eat it. I promise you it's absolutely gorgeous and we love it. Let me know if you try it. Let me know if you eat it. I'm sure you, some of you will do. I'm sure people all over the world have eaten toad in the hole in one way or another. Those Yorkshire puddings are just gorgeous, aren't they? Thanks for watching. Thanks for your comments. We read every single one of them. We're nearly at 30,000 subscribers. So if you're not a subscriber, come on, hit that subscribe button. And we'll see you soon. Bye for now.